All right, welcome back to Tech Intern, guys. So today we're gonna to be doing is taking a look at one of the projects I created when I was in university, and that is Spotify to YouTube MP3. So basically using Spotify to download all of the songs from YouTube. Now, uh, in order to do that, we're gonna to have to understand OAuth and we're gonna to have to interact with the Spotify API. So in the very beginning here, I just wanna explain how OAuth works and I wanna explain um, how we are going to interact with the Spotify API. Now, the great thing about this is that we're going to use this for basically any application we want to interact with. If you want to use Google or Facebook, you know, if you've ever seen those sign in with Facebook, sign in with Google, if you want to implement one of those in your app, it's going to be the exact same principles. So today we're just going to really quickly learn all of that and you'll never have to worry about that ever again. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first difference we have to think about when we talk about OAuth, the difference between authentication and authorization. So authentication is when you log in with a username or password. This is you proving who you are. So you're saying to Facebook or Spotify, for example, hey, my name is Jason and let me listen to my songs. Now let's say in your application, you wanted to uh, you know, interact with, with Spotify on behalf of the user. Well, you could ask them for their username and password so that you could log in for them, but that's not safe. That's not sustainable. And nobody is going to trust you with your user, their username and password. However, if you do ask for their username and password, you can log in on behalf of them. And one way that you could do this is with Selenium. So if you check out our channel, you'll see another video where we do this method to get information from Instagram. Um, and we log in with Instagram and we go and grab all this data. The reason we do it that way is because the Instagram API doesn't give you access to certain information. And the only way to, to get access to that information is through authentication. The other option is authorization. So the difference here is you're not proving that you are Jason, for example, you're not proving that you are a user, you're saying, hey, here is proof that the user is giving me access to this data. So you're saying, hey, like, I am not this person. I am a service. I'm an app. However, I know that the person that, you know, I know this person, I know Jason wants me to get access to this information. So for that, we're going to use OAuth. Now, this is kind of a general breakdown of how this is going to work. So here we've got the user, which is me, a really flattering picture of me. We've got my app, which uh, I've labeled Tech and Turn, which is the name of this channel. And we've got Spotify. So the very first thing, let's say I'm, I'm the user, right? I want this application to uh, get access to my songs on Spotify. So I log into the app and I say, hey, access my songs. So my app will contact Spotify and say, say, Jason told me I could access his songs. Now, Spotify doesn't trust my app, right? Spotify trusts the user. So Spotify is going to ask the user, did you tell my app, this, this app, that uh, it could access your songs? And then the user, which is, uh, you know, this flattering picture of me is going to say back, yes. And so Spotify is then going to reply to my app, okay. I, I know that Jason does want you to access those songs. I verified that myself. Here is an access code. Uh, and this is kind of the screen that the user will get when they, during this whole interaction here, step three and four, this is the, the thing they're gonna get. Connect the app to your Spotify account. Then there's gonna be a description of the app and what data the app wants to access. Uh, you can see that here. The app will be able to receive this account data. This is the, what they have in their Spotify API documentation. Basically, here is your app, here's the Spotify account service, and this is the user. And it's kind of the flow we just talked about with, with more words, uh, but we're gonna go through this in code. But yeah, so basically you just, uh, you send the user to the Spotify, uh, you send the user to the Spotify service, they log in, and then the user gets redirected back to you with, some, uh, with a, an access code you swap out the access code for, um, uh, for a token, for an access token, and then you can use that access token to make 
uh, requests. Now, don't worry if, I mean, if this thing seems a little overwhelming, which it was for me, which is why I created this, because this is way, way easier to understand. This seems a little confusing. We're going to go through it in code and you're going to realize it's really not that confusing. But there's some definitions you should know first. Scope, this is what I get access to. User playlists, email, basically just account data, right? Redirect URI. Um, we'll talk more about that in the next slide. Client ID, this is just the unique ID for your app. Think of it as your app's username and your client secret. Well, this is just a private secret for your app. Think of it as, as your app password. I mean, your app has to have credentials too, right? Okay, so now we're gonna understand the redirect URI. So think about this, the user is connected to my app, all right? And uh, when we need them to interact with Spotify, to tell Spotify that we should get access to information, we redirect them to Spotify servers. So now the user is no longer on our app, they're on Spotify. Spotify and the user talk, you know, they say, hey, should should my app get access to this? The user is going to say yes. And then Spotify is going to send the user back to my app. They're going to redirect the user back to my app. So the reason that we have this redirect URI is so that Spotify knows where to send the user back to. So this is an example of how we're going to use the Spotify application. And look, it's got those four parameters, client ID and client secret. We're going to be given those when we create an application. The redirect URI, this is where Spotify is going to send the user back to after they approve. And the scope, this is what I want to get access to. And that's it. Like that's basically all there is to OAuth uh, for our purposes. And it's really not that difficult. So um, that's all I have for this first episode. And in the next episode, what we'll do is we'll start setting up our Python project with Flask uh, to actually, you know, build a server because we need to create an endpoint here, this redirect URI, we need an endpoint. So we're gonna use Flask to create this endpoint. And we're gonna go through the whole OAuth flow and we're gonna get access to the user's library. So that's it for part one. Uh, thank you guys for watching.